let's talk art as an investment. Worldwide art and antique sales reached an estimated $67.8 billion in 2022, up 3% compared with the year earlier, according to a report from Art Basel and UBS. They released that report in April of this year. Now, there is a new entrant in the uh, art uh, market here in Lagos, Nigeria. About a couple weeks ago, uh, Windsor Gallery opened a new gallery in Lagos, Nigeria, and they, re they had a, uh, what was the theme now? Africa, yeah, it was about the African art, the state of Africa, there it is. And they featured a number of talented African artists that were featuring their pieces uh, for display to residents of Lagos. So, I'm gonna talk about that as an alternative investment. We have with us uh, the manager of the uh, Windsor Gallery, Ayo Oshodi. Ayo, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Richard, for having me. All right, so, uh, you know, after, it's a business show. We've got to use economic metrics here. So <laughs> there's high levels of inflation, yeah. cost of living is high, uh, all these things are happening, and you're opening a gallery right at this time. Is that, um, is that what, what, what <laughs> where's the, what's the takeaway from that? Um, as you rightly said, there is a um, high level of inflation, and I think it's about over 25%. That's right. But we also need to remember that um, the stock market has risen by 30%. And what that You were tells watching us, our last segment? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what that tells us is that um, people are investing, and art is a form of investment. Yeah. It is a way to diversify your portfolio, and also, it's um, over time, it increases in value. And how that works is, um, in the art ecosystem, there is a primary art market and there's a secondary art market. Mm. So in the primary art market, the key players there are the um, artists and the galleries. And that is the first point of contact where um, art is sold for the first time. And over time, depending on the artist's um, trajectory and CV and career, um, the way it blooms, um, it sells, resells in the secondary art market. And that is where the value is cemented mm. um, because the artist and the gallery, they've done the work to actually expand the artist's career and make a name for themselves. So in the secondary art market, um, value is cemented. Um, mm. And I say all of that to say art is valuable. Okay, okay. <laughs> of course you would. You would say that. All right, thanks for the breakdown. So then yeah. it's almost like you're almost like talking about you know bonds or T-bills in the primary market and the secondary market. Thank you for that. All right, so Windsor is what? Is this a global um, gallery with galleries all over the world? Or yes. what's, Yeah, so talk that to is, us about this that opening. That is the plan. Um, yeah. Right now, we have five galleries, three in Abidjan, and then two, one in Abuja, and the opening in Lagos. We have plans of expanding within Africa and outside of Africa. Um, our key focus is to give a fresh intake into the West African market, both for our um, established artists and emerging artists as well, and also for new buyers and seasoned collectors. Um, and also cement art as a very um, viable financial asset. Yeah, yeah. And that is key. And that is another way of cementing art as, you know, viable um, yeah. value, the okay. value of art. Yeah. Now, you know, this always comes up, right? It's whenever these niche investment, you know, electric vehicles come up, it's Lagos and Abuja. The fine art comes up, it's Lagos. And, what, what, is, do you, what would it take for a Windsor Gallery to open up in uh, Enugu or... I, 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 uh, I don't know, Benue State, well, is, it, is it purchasing power? Um, I wouldn't necessarily put it down to purchasing power, simply because um, Abuja and Lagos, right, they're metropolitan cities, um, a melting pot of different um, um, cultures, different people. Um, we have a variety of, of people there. And also Lagos is a creative hub, yeah. um, both in Nigeria and in Africa as well. Um, this enables um, the production of art from the beginning stage, even from exhibitions, the curators, the framers, the artisans involved in it, 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 it enables it to, to be a success, let me put it that way. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say it's spending power, I would say um, for now it is the best entry into the market, Abuja and Lagos, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a um, good entry into the market and it's not to say that we will not expand to these places. For example, um, we are in collaboration with Fifth Chaka okay. um, in Kano. Um, oh, okay. Yes, so it's it's for our emerging artists to um, collaborate with them as well. And display um, their work. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Some of these art pieces go from $600 to $40,000. That, <laughs> <laughs> those are some expensive pieces of art. Um, how are African artists doing compared to their contemporaries in Europe, Asia, and so on? Because this, this was all about Africa, right? Everything we saw here. Yes, all right, yeah. so how are they doing? Ah, well, that is a very good question. It is a good question. And I think the answer, if we don't delve into it, might be unfair to the artists and also to um, the infrastructure in Nigeria. Because yeah. to begin with, art has always been seen as 
culture. You, do you understand? We've never actually seen it as something that is viable as a business. Right. It's always been a part of life in our DNA. So um, it's not something we built that infrastructure properly. Let me put it that way. Mm. It's there. But um, we have artists by the day coming out, right? So that infrastructure needs to cater to them compared to their um, Western counterparts where they built that infrastructure. It's a business for them as well. Mm. Um, so if an artist, if we tell an artist that, okay, you need to create um, scarcity so that there is demand for your work, how are they supposed to survive right. at that point? Right. The As opposed to the foreign, um, the Western counterpart where there is that infrastructure, the government and is the there. And bigger market. Exactly. The market is bigger. The yeah. um, spending and any power over there is, bigger, is larger. Um, so it's different things that come together to affect an artist's career. Yeah, um, yeah. It is not for lack of talent. Right. We are extremely talented. Right. Um, from th the, the, the exhibition we have going on, you can tell from every corner of Africa, the talent is pure. Yeah. It's just we need to do that work to build that infrastructure. And that is what Windsor is here to do as well. Um, about a minute to go. Okay, so tell me about the theme. It was the state of Africa. So yes. obviously you had to focus on African artists. Yeah? Yes, so talk yes. about the theme. Um, so the theme is state of Africa. Um, it was gotten from a book by... Um, Martin Meredith, yes, Martin Meredith. And yeah. in that book, it talks about different um, struggles as a nation we faced, from the riots to the coup. Um, and we took that um, theme and took a pos um, positive spin to it um, to showcase the, the creative and rich tapestry of Africa and the artist as well. Um, mm. So it's it's taking a positive spin on something that was highlighting... Um, struggle. Yeah, exactly, the yeah. struggle of Africa. I have to ask you this. Yeah. Gender diversity amongst artists. I think where all the artists that were displayed... They all male? Uh, no, 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 no. So they were from female <laughs> they, artists. Well, they couldn't make it. Um, um, we have Aida Mulune, Mulune, and she's an Ethiopian artist. Okay. She's um, absolutely, absolutely brilliant in terms of what she has achieved in her career. It is phenomenal and a fit for any woman, a black woman, and of African descent as well. Um, we have Christine Seller as well, but they couldn't make it for the opening of the exhibition. They okay. will be there. They will be in Nigeria. I think that this is Aida's first time of... Um, of showing in Nigeria. She will be here on the 15th of October um, and she has a solo show in our Abuja branch as well. Okay. And her CV is impressive. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. She was the first woman to co-create, um, co-curate, sorry, um, the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, that in itself is amazing. Yeah. She's literally the top photographer in Africa. So for us to get a caliber of artists like that, you, we, we mean business. Yeah, yeah. So female artists, are, they're doing no, their definitely, thing. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, great stuff. So, AI, this is my final question for you. Artificial intelligence, you've seen what it's doing. Yeah. They are generating images. Will they put artists out of business? What's your view on AI and, you know, you know what, um, what it's doing to art? I think for me personally, it's a simple answer in the sense that because art is very, um, it's a manual display of love, really. Like, you, AI cannot um, replicate human emotions in yeah. that sense. Um, so, yes, we use AI to a certain point, but it is a different genre of art. It is AI-generated art. Um, it is not the mainstream art, mainstream art because art is it's a collector's item. It yeah. is it is emotional. There has to be a connection there. Yeah, and look at that machine. That machine that we just showed. Yeah, that uh, that robot is drawing. You're saying yeah, that robot has no it has no emotion. Oh, when, <laughs> when when robots get emotions, we should be scared. Yeah. <laughs> well, for now you're not worried. Oh, I'm not worried. Yeah. I'm not worried. Because <laughs> obviously, I can't I can't bring this robot into the studio and ask it what it thought about or what its exactly, inspiration was exactly. when it was what it was uh, exactly. uh, drawing that thing. Look, great conversation. Yeah. Tayo Shodi, manager of Windsor Gallery Lagos. We thank you so much for coming and talking thank to us you. about art as an alternative. Thank so we gotta you have you back. Because oh, art is a great thing to talk about. Definitely. I just can't afford the painting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss that. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate Thank you. Time.